In this particular problem, we want to sketch the graph, but we have to find the vertex and the x and the y-intercepts. So remember in the last podcast, when we found the vertex, we did that, or at least the x-coordinate of the vertex, we did that by finding the opposite of b over 2a, which in this particular example, it's the opposite of minus 6, it's minus 6, all over 2 times 1 which is 6 over 2, which is 3. So my vertex is going to have an x-coordinate of 3. My y-coordinate can be found by plugging 3 into my function, which in this case I'm going to get 9 minus 18 plus 8. So I'm plugging 3 into my function, and I will get minus 1. So my vertex is going to be found at 3 minus 1. That is the is actually going to be the bottom of my graph. And remember, when we talked about the properties, um, we know it's going to open up, this vertex is going to open up, and that's because my a, which is 1, is greater than 0. So since my a is greater than 0, it's going to open up. That makes my vertex the minimum, the very bottom of the graph. Okay, so to find the x-intercepts, remember the x-intercepts are when our function is 0, when our output is 0. So what we're doing there is we're solving x squared minus 6x plus 8 equal to 0. We now have lots of different ways to solve this. This is exactly why we need to be able to solve any quadratic equation. So in order to do this, we could use the quadratic formula, we could complete the square, but I think it's going to be easier to factor this to be x minus 2, x minus 4, equal to 0. And that gives me x equal to 2, and x equal to 4. So those are going to be my x-intercepts. The points 2, 0, 2, comma, 0, and 4, comma, 0. Because when I plug in 2, my output is 0. When I plug in 4, my output is 0. So those are going to be my x-intercepts, 2, 0, and 4, 0. And now finally, the y-intercept I can find by taking x equal to 0. So f of 0, what I'm going to get is 0 minus 0 plus 8. So when I plug 0 into my function, I get 8. So my y-intercept is going to be 0, comma, 8. So 0, and up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Hopefully I counted right there. And those three points are my um, the beginning of my parabola. And real quick, even though it's not in the example, it's not in the rule, the instructions, I can find another point, since I have this point over here, I can find another point by just going over from the point 0, 8, seeing how far it is from the axis of symmetry, and then knowing that that's going to be the same thing. So since we have 1, 2, 3, it's 3 blocks away from the axis of symmetry. If I go in the other direction, 1, 2, 3, I will have another point on the parabola that's right here. So that's perfect. And that is a terrible graph. There we go. Let's try that again. Uh, that's not much better. But the point here is this. We got the vertex. We got the x-intercepts. We got the y-intercept, and then using the axis of symmetry, we were able to find an additional point on the other side of the axis of symmetry because we know it's a mirror image. So using these important properties, we were able to graph this quadratic function.